and a glimpse inside the locker room. Players' final few moments to prepare for the game and the task ahead. A friendship torch in the foreground and the Tower of the Americas behind it. Two of the signature sites here in San Antonio, Texas. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. DA, take it away. Well, Ben Simmons was the top-rated player in high school and in college. A fractured bone in his foot cost him his first NBA season. He said, a lot of people forgot about me. You have to build yourself up again. And for me, I wanted to prove myself again. Kevin, we all agree, he's done just that. He sure has. First NBA All-Star ever out of Australia. Thanks, David. Here we are in November. Let's see how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. You look at San Antonio, they're still struggling, trying to string something together, getting a lot of wins. The competition, though, is so tough. And you know, for the Spurs, they've got to make some changes at the end of the season. That much is clear. Not sure whether that goes for the coaches or the players or both, but something has got to change. For me, the decision makers have a lot of tough choices to make. They also need to look in the mirror because they're the ones who assembled this team. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Harrison and B together in the middle. Then there's Richardson. Then there's Ben Simmons. And it's Thibault in at the two spot. And for the Spurs. Gay and Aldridge are up front. Then it's Conley. Then it's Damari Kiros. And it's Walker in at the two guard. He's ready as a player when it comes to preparing for a long season. Talk about the advantages of the new strength and conditioning programs we read so much about. You know, for, for me, Kevin, when I first started out, it was all about just getting stronger, lifting weights. I think right now for these guys, they're doing a great job of adding that and also recovery. What do you do for recovery, being able to play the next game? I would love to see the technology that they have, which I can use it, Kevin, because all I did was run and get me a fish fillet, and I was ready to go. <laughs> Finally <laughs> against Simmons. That's fast game. Here's Aldridge. Almost, but it rolls out. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Aaron Simmons slams it in. Yeah, whenever Simmons gets a chance to show off his insane jumping skills, he sees it. Outside, Walker. Pass the game. Inside. Aldridge inside. Guarded by Embiid. Good. You know, Marcus Aldridge putting pressure on this defense, getting into the seams and making plays. Offensive rebound. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Relentless on the offensive glass, and then you love the finish. Philadelphia shooting their first free throw of the night. Good from Simmons. The 2018 Rookie of the Year. Simmons' NBA career got off to a great start, and he's only continued to improve. Now here's Gay. He's coming off a 10-point game against Indiana. Conley against Simmons. Conley gets the bucket. Mike Conley with a terrific field in the pick and roll. He's like a quarterback going through his progressions. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Here's Thibel. A 14-point game for him in the win against New York. And B. Nice right there to create the shot, but it's no good. Walker in the corner. Let's it go from deep. That one's rebounded by MB. 76ers have gone 50% from the field, hitting 3 of 6 since the opening tip. And that one's good. Thibel. 
How about the head of steam he's able to generate right there and just gets to the rack really easy. Simmons against Hunt. Carries it down low. One of Conley's calling cards, getting into the paint and converting, even though he's often the smallest guy on the floor. Here's Freiburg. Outside, Simmons. Lays it up and banks it in. Simmons got seven. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now here's Conley. 14 points from him the last game against Indiana. And some of the passes he traded through the defense were just incredible. He made it look so easy. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on Rudy Gay. Well, maybe not the most well-known player in the league, but Josh Richardson has been a big source of offense. And Brady's done it for a while now. Uh, a bit of a specialist, but Richardson has no problem putting up and making threes. the first when you look at Richardson's skill set you look at his size you think man this guy could be a great 3 and D player and Richardson drops them both and you look at all the under the radar prospects that have found success with the Spurs how, how do they keep hitting on all these players other teams have missed. They do a great job with their player development. They also do a great job identifying players with great character. They have guys who work extremely hard. They have great coaching and they teach. But more importantly, what they do, GA, they give you confidence. And that's what I think the Spurs separate from other organizations. The question is, do you leave him in? Obviously, you don't want him to pick up a third foul this early. And the Spurs making a change here. White's checked in. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Simmons. An easy two points on the layup. Simmons got nine. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now here's White. Carroll finds Aldridge. Over and deep. Aldridge misses. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. Pass to Richardson. Switch, 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 switch. Shot clock at six. The 76ers need to get off a shot. Simmons. They get it again. And the shot goes in from MB. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. 11-point game. Kicks it to Gay. Looking to end the run. Good on the three-point shot. This is the confidence Rudy has in himself. Looking to score as soon as he gets the ride. Simmons passes to Harris. Rebound, San Antonio. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. Passes it to all. White looking around. With the floater, Gay trying to break free. The shot's good. Aldridge has got his second bucket of the game to go. Great balance and body control for a big. Aldridge powers through some pretty good defense there. Here's Feibel, guarded by Walker. Down low. That's good from Harris on the assist by MB. Off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. 
White against Simmons. To the paint. The kick out to Walker. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. Decent look from mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. It's early, but they are getting pummeled on the glass. Spurs trail by 11. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. Defeated by the Pacers in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, I mean, just way too many turnovers in that one. And if you can't protect the ball, you can't expect to win. Aggressive is one thing. Careless is another. You want to stay balanced and poised. comes in for Rudy Gay, and it's Bogdanovich in for Damari Kuhn. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Gordon's checked in. Now here's Walker. 14 points from him, the last game against Indiana. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Embiid. And 76ers making a switch here. Horford's checked in. Al Horford. Now the pass to White. Lock hey, at six. Right here. Here's Aldridge. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. Aldridge has got six. The man just knows how to generate points. Aldridge creating a second chance opportunity and then cashing in. Outside, Simmons. And then Jim as he goes right. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace, they made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Now, here's Walker. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And the foul on Josh Richardson. That is his first foul of the game. Scott is checked in for Philadelphia. Zaire Smith comes in for Richardson. Zamanich passes to Lyons. Here's White. And the rejection by Snap. And it's out of bounds as far as his overtake possession here. Here's White. Five to shoot. The good looking shot from the wing. Here's Smith. To the middle. Here's Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. This is my type of approach. Get some high percentage looks. Then later, you can play inside out. And the Spurs with possession. 76ers getting the button. Just five on the clock. A three. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Smith kicks to Simmons. Feeds to Horford. And finished off by Horford. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Already ahead by double digits, trying to run away and not look back. Now, here's Mills. No 
no points in the game yet for him. And it's sent back by Horford. Good on the shot. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Smith outside. Up top, Simmons. Covered by Mills. Here's Smith and right with the block. Bogdanovich looking around. Here's Zamanic. Nice pass. Run into the rack perfectly for the layup. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Simmons inside. Covered by Mills. Kept alive. Perfect. It's deflected. That's out of bounds. The 76ers have a new team possession. And here are the 76ers now. Six point lead. That's their third straight make off an assist. San Antonio's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. And stolen by Simmons. Count that as his seventh field goal, nine tries. He's shooting 78%. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Now here's Mills. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Right the pass just a bunch. He kicks to Bogdanovich. Just five to shoot. Here's Wiles. No good on that one. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Horford trying to free himself up. Ben Simmons gets the bucket. And now it's a 12-point Philadelphia lead. Mills passes to Wiles. Bogdanovich against Scott. Bogdanovich dishes the white. Again, the miss by the Spurs. And so Simmons will bring it up for the 76ers. Here's Gordon. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Let's use this break for a quick look at the squads that really made it happen on the fast break last season. The 76ers number one. Do they love to run? I mean, nobody did it better. They would get out in the lanes and push the ball even after makes. And the first one at the line is good. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Philadelphia. So he gets them both. Spurs trail by 14. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Shot's good by Mills. One of the best standstill shooters in the league. Mills getting better at scoring off the dribble. And Simmons kicks to Baines. Bogdanovich against Gordon. Back to Baines. Smith outside. Down to five on the shot clock. The 76ers with another miss. And the call will be against Al Horford. That's his first, first, That's his first foul. San Antonio's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. 34 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Miles with it. Baines is there. Fires it up. Yeah, the hustle from Simmons on D, it, it becomes infectious. He brings his all on every possession. Back in the day, someone would have blocked him out, but times have changed. Good go, and no good. 
good in the last second attempt this time. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. 76ers ahead, up 10. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. talks about making a quick transition to the United States. Uh, not knowing English, obviously at the beginning it was a little bit hard to like express myself. Obviously I can speak English perfectly now, so that's a plus and uh, I'm just being myself. And that unique sense of humor, Greg, is a specialty of Embiid. He's, he's a fun-loving guy who's become a must-follow on social media. And the transition he's made has been remarkable. And so far, through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the 76ers, what are your thoughts? Love their effort, contesting shots, trying to intimidate here early on. And you can see it's already having an impact. It can cause shooters to think twice. Out out there with Mills. Then it's Trey Wyatt. Then there's Bogdanovich. And it's Zamanich in at the fourth line. So that's who San Antonio starts the second one. And it's out of bounds. The 76ers are able to retain possession here. All right, a chance to check out stats for Mike Conley. Last season, he played outstanding. He put up about 20 points per game last season. Seven assists and three rebounds. Backup point guard, always an important position. And he fills that role beautifully. Without a good floor conductor coming off the bench, your offense can quickly grow stagnant. He solves that problem well. Now here is Smith. As to Simmons. Down it drops through the net for his ninth bucket. He is 9 for 13 so far. Well, this term load management now is something you hear about and read about all the time, Steve. You think we'll ever see the regular season shortened by a few games? You know, Commissioner Silver has talked about it, and it's been thrown around 75 games. I will say the NBA has done a fantastic job, along with the Players Association. Uh, there's longer off-seasons. I mean, and there are also longer time throughout the All-Star games. There's not as many back-to-backs. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Horford finds Simmons. And it's blocked. Conley feeling it out. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Conley's got six. They are just killing him on the interior. Here's Simmons. Pass to Horford. From deep. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. And the 76ers lead by 11. And passes like that demonstrate the winning mindset Simmons has. A, a guy that wants to get his team involved. Now, here's Bogdanovich. 17 points for him last game against Indiana. And he really controlled the pace of the game by getting to the line. The D could not slow him down and he took advantage of it. Empty possession and you don't want to miss these easy looks. 76ers moving the ball around. It's blocked and he gets it back. Horford no luck. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know technically it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Miles no good. The 76ers leading by 11. Out to Smith. Launches it. San Antonio with the rebound. And this is the first season matchup for them against the 76ers team. And with this matchup being an East versus West affair, it will be the first of only two meetings between the teams. Very difficult game to predict. They are not familiar with each other. I expect to see a lot of in-game adjustments tonight on both sides. 
It's a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, my cousin LaMarcus Aldridge is not the flashiest player, but he is respected. His former teammate in Portland, C.J. McCollum, said he hasn't changed his game to try and fit the new NBA. He shoots mid-range, scores under the basket, strong as heck. He knows who he is. And Kevin, Marcus isn't really my cousin, but his game never goes out of style. All right, D.A., and he is still getting it done. Thank you. Now, here's Mills, following the miss by Al Horford. Outside Conley. Over Smith. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. And it's a plus five advantage for the rebounds after that one. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. And the two-hand slam. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And he was 73% from the line a season ago. An average number in that regard. The free throw drops for Smith. Smitty, the NBA now preventing teams to sell international sponsorships. And the league just continues to grow globally. They have done a fantastic job. Teams can now enhance their visibility with this deal. And their internet makes this all possible when you get a chance to watch these teams all over the world. That's a good point. So he's standing 6'11 with a 7'5 wingspan. LaMarcus Aldridge, the first in power forward. But make no mistake, he has the size to hang with the big dogs at center. And that one falls for LaMarcus Aldridge. And with his height and reach, not many that can block Aldridge's turnaround jumper. His release on his jump shot is so high. The rainbow art, it's a beautiful thing to watch. Scotty's checked in for Philadelphia. Both free throws good for Aldridge. And in a league that's obsessed with threes and layups, Marcus Aldridge defying the trend, really feasting on a steady diet of mid-range jumpers. Now here's MB. He's coming off a 13-point game against New York. And his shot blocking helped as well. Those two blocks he had were big for them. And it's shot with the jam. Sky high, one of his advantages as an undersized four. And that turnaround jumper of Aldridge. Great, just impossible to defend. Long arms, that high release point. When it's falling, well, we saw him get OKC 56. This man can take over. Let's take a look at last year's leading shot blockers. You don't want one of these guys in front of you when you're coming down the lane. Second, Joel Embiid. And shot blocking is the element of the game that I think he cares about the most. That's where he puts in that effort and energy. First free throw is good. You look at the skill, the shooting, the length. LaMarcus Aldrich is perfectly suited for today's game. So one for two that time at the strike. In this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. The 
The 76ers have been perfect so far from the free throw line. Six for six. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. First one falls for him. He's perfect from the line this time. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Finally against Scott. Gaines scaling before. Aldridge. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And this is what you sign up for when trying to defend Aldridge. The pump fake, just one of many tools shooting in his arsenal. The Spurs shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Taking two shots. He misses the free throw. Well, Steve, it doesn't matter how they do it, but there are some players, as you know, that can get into another player's head. Uh, I guess like a Dennis Rodman, but there are a lot of them now that play and, and use that tactic. Yeah, Draymond Green, Kevin, Patrick Beverly, uh, Chris Paul, I think is one of those guys. Uh, P.J. Tucker, he doesn't really talk, but he, he has a lot of antics. There's a lot of guys that like to get in your head. Also, uh, Joel Embiid is one. He does it extremely well. Here's Thibel. He has six. This is it to Scott. Richardson outside. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on the Marcus Aldridge. Super assertive on the offensive end. Something Josh has worked on, and it's paid off. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. And looking back last season, how about 87% from the line? So that's obviously nothing to sneeze at. good from Richardson good on both I'll tell you he doesn't get points away excellent job from the line First trail by 16. Now Conley. He's got six. Carroll passes to all. Shoots over and beat. The shot is good off the backboard. Aldridge has got six here in this quarter. Keep it going to the hot hand, and when Aldridge is on, he is on. Here's Thibel. He's got six. Back to Harris. Makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. And the 76ers lead by 16. Spurs have gone three to seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Down the kicks to Walker. Richardson against Conley. Back to Walker. There's the three. But they'll get another chance. Aldridge. That one's rebounded by Embiid. Embiid's got rebound for five here tonight. Down low. And that one's good. Bible. Bible's got eight. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. 
Richardson against Cubs. The feed to game. That shot misses. Good D by Embiid. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. It's impressive. The level of domination at both ends. And you're seeing the results. Especially considering it's on the road in front of a tough crowd. They've been able to block out the distractions. Now here's Walker. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. 14 feet away. No good off the back of the rim. A, a little ambitious on that possession, trying to hit a shot in the face of that defensive pressure. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. Here's Conley. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. Over to the left wing. They need this. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And Beach got seven rebounds in the game. Richardson attacking. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Rudy Gay. The 76ers the haven't made a mistake at the line yet. Ten of ten. Two shots. No good on the free throw. And Steve, some classic shoe brands making a return to the NBA with updated versions. Smitty, what was your sneaker of choice back in the day? Kevin, that's funny. I started off with the pumps, the double pumps, and then I ended up with a shell toe low top. And then now you see all the youngsters now wearing low tops. They used to tell me back in the day, low tops were not good for your ankles. But I didn't really jump that high, so I was okay. And the second free throw, good. After having no trips to the free throw line in the first period, he's being much more aggressive now. White dishes to Aldridge. Back to Walker. White wide open. He fires. That falls. Nice feed that time for Walker. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Right the pass to Walker. Game with it. Here's Aldridge. The kick out to Walker. Over Scott. Here's Aldridge. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And really, I'd like to see them get after it on the offensive boards a little bit more here. They did a good job of that in the first. So far tonight, he's gone four of six at the line. A year ago, he had an 84% success rate on his foul shots. So he was a guy they were always happy to see at the line. And he knocks down the first one. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Philadelphia leading by 18. Richardson outside. There's the pass to Thibel. On the wing, Harris. No good, shot missing. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. Walker against Embiid. Game. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Okay, he's got five points so far. I like how he absorbed contact. Rudy Gay with the body control to finish through it. 
now here's Richardson. He had a 12 point outing in their last game against New York. Here is outside. Shoots. And too long on the shot. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid range. And the dunk by Walker. And his competitiveness showing through. That's an aggressive finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. Here's Thibel. 13 points in the game. Offensive struggles continue. Missing again. Carroll finds White. Harris against Gay. Here's Aldridge. Some players never recover from a torn Achilles. Rudy Gay has come back and as good as ever. Still one of the most productive small forwards we have in the league. The Spurs have gone six of eight from the free throw line tonight. And they had a lot of success a season ago as a team, hitting about 80% of their free throws. And that one misses. And he's taking care of the hard part tonight, which is getting to the line. But but he hasn't finished the job once he gets there. He hits the second from the line. The 76ers leading by 13. On the way, Harris. Kicks to Horford to end the cold streak. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Horford's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for the 76ers. 27 seconds left in the second quarter. This is like another case of Murphy's Law right now, and it's been their own doing, really, just like we saw there. Miles check in for San Antonio. Mills comes in for Walker, and the 76ers also making a change. Smith checked in for Harris. 20 seconds left in the first half of the game. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the 76ers. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. For the three, another three for Philadelphia. And so it's Philadelphia taking a 19-point lead into the break. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us. But you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. Ben Simmons had it going on in the first quarter. He ended up with 19 points, two assists, and one steal. And from what we saw so far from the Sixers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? With everything Ben Simmons gives you, the scoring is great. But in the first half, he was aggressive with his offense, getting his shots to go down. A welcome sight for this team. Shaq, let's get your thoughts on San Antonio. Well, they gave up too many good looks. You look at the field goal percentage against them, this tells the whole story. Not enough activity defensively, not enough disruption, right? Like, can he disrupt me all the time? Not enough disruption. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. Yeah. 
Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You look at Ben Simmons in this game. He's been everywhere. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Kicking off the second half, here's Brett Brown's spot. We've got Aaron Baines. Richardson is out there with Harris. Then there's Ben Simmons. And it's Thibault in at the shooting guard. Walker with some nice deep. Spurs trail by 19. Out left of the wing. Here's Conley. Baines with the block. And that's on about San Antonio will retain possession. Indeed, he's checked in for Aaron Baines. Here's Conley, and that one is off. Some solid defense from Harris. Plenty of space. Walker with the rebound. Missed opportunity, wide open for mid-range. He would love to get the look at that. Nice. You know Rudy likes showing off. He's definitely got hops, a sensational dunk. Simmons against Gay. Inside, Harris misses. And out of the gates here in the second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. Simmons against Hunt. Now's contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Philadelphia foul. What outstanding concentration from Mike Conley. Burying the shot despite the harm. And already over a decade in the league for Mike Conley. He never got past the numbers game to make the All-Star team in the crowded Western Conference, but make no mistake about it, Conley is star caliber. And Greg, you talk to Conley, he'll admit he has been frustrated trying to break through and get that recognition. Still, the, the way he plays the game, not focused on his individual numbers, unselfish, and, and focused on what the team needs to win. A second chance effort. Marcus Aldridge grabs the miss. Aldridge has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Ouch. Five shots without a make. That's a really ragged start coming out of half time. Now, here's Walker. Aldridge inside. 15 points in the game. Good D by Embiid. Harris inside. He's against Gay. Now, here's Simmons. Over by Conley. Six on the shot clock. No good from Simmons. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. Conley against Simmons. Pass to Carroll. Shot clock at five to the inside. Over. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. And Walker's got the ball here for the Spurs. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. This one for three. Drills the three-pointer. Walker's got five points so far. And guarding him on the perimeter isn't a priority for them right now, but if this continues, it will be. Here's Freiburg. He's covered by Gay. Outside, Simmons. Overall, 
different. And the 76ers tack on two more. And not a lot you can do to prevent Simmons from creating space. It's what he does best in the world. Conley with a wide open look. Very good from outside. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage play. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Seven points in the game. Inconsistent from range when he first entered the league. Tobias has turned that completely around. Aldridge finds Carroll. Outside Conley. It's Day on the way. A three. Rebound by the 76ers. And Beach got rebound number 13 with that last one. Simmons looking it over. Pass to Embiid. He can't hit that top. And the Spurs going the other way now. Next up, they'll face the Suns. That'll be in Phoenix. That will be a getaway game for them. A one-game road trip. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And now, a chance to see what's coming up for the Philadelphia 76ers. On Wednesday, they'll be matching up against Eric Bledsoe and the Milwaukee Bucks. Then on Friday, they'll be taking on Jonas Valanciunas and the Memphis Grizzlies. And for the matchup with the Bulls, it's the second game of a back-to-back, -back, and you know they're going to be feeling the effects of it. Playing that much basketball in that short amount of time really takes a toll. And that one falls for LaMarcus Aldridge. Both free throws good for Mo. The 76ers leading by 16. Richardson the pass to Embiid. Richardson against Carroll. Floats one, and it's finished off by Richardson as he lays it in. Richardson's got nine points. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. San Antonio calls timeout. The wheels have come off a little bit leading up to this timeout. He is taking some low percentage shots and it's killing the floor of their offense. More motion, more ball movement. That should lead to better looks for him and for the entire team. You, you broke. We toast, West Coast, we brag, we boast, then travel off us the globe, turn that loud as it goes, been counting pounds in your roads, I can't be playing with these, they back, I know. Down here, get you some, yeah, man, just watch when I get me some, down here, get you some, yeah, mm. get you some, just can't wait till I get me some, down here, get you some, yeah. Just watch when I get me some Go on here, get you some Yeah, mm. Get you some Just can't wait till I get me some Can't match my tribe I don't know how he stay fly My God, my vibe More of a struggle like Here on the 2K leaderboard of the rebounding leaders from a season ago Fifth, Joel Embiid what a season he had in the paint. I mean, his rebounding numbers, really mind-boggling. Who wouldn't love to have a guy like that? Walker surveying the floor. And the rejection by Embiid. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. This is where Tobias has really improved, keeping his eyes up, making plays for others. Outside Conley. Pass to Kira. Wide open. Again, the miss by the Spurs. And so Simmons will bring it up for Philadelphia. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Spurs trail by 20. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Aldridge. 
and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. And some changes here for the 76ers. Horford comes in for Joel Embiid. And it's Scott in for Josh Richardson. And that one falls for LaMarcus Aldridge. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. And the Spurs with some changes. Trey Lyles checked in for game. Bogdan Bogdanovich comes in for Damari Carroll. And Derek White subbed in for Lonnie Walker. And so LaMarcus Aldridge nails them both. And here is Simmons. 21 points in the game. And the layup is good. Simmons got 23 points. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start. Buckway now. Conley against Simmons. From downtown. And that's good. Michael Conley for three. Conley's got six here in this quarter. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. Scott, the pass to Thibel. To the paint. Here's Horford. And the 76ers tack on two more. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. White with it, picked up by Harris. And it's sent back by Horford. They get it back. Great position on that play from Tobias. Challenging the shot and getting a piece of it. Double team Conley and wrestling for it there, but ball. no one has possession. We'll players. have a jump ball. It'll be a jump ball. And Philadelphia has possession. The 76ers leading by 19 points. The pass to Gordon. it loose and out of bounds as San Antonio gains possession looking at some numbers for Simmons coming off a terrific season first in field goal percentage fifth in scoring and he ranked in the top 10 in assists an incredible knack for drawing defenders and finding the open man and last year he really was the poster boy for scoring efficiency you can count on one hand the number of bad shots he took Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Simmons got six here in this quarter. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working to get inside and getting good shots from close range. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Alder. Well, Kevin, one of the things that teams are more aware of in the age of analytics is the importance of sleep. Those teams are making adjustments. Morning shoot-arounds have been moved in some cases to the afternoon or eliminated altogether. There are many fewer teams that are taking red-eye flights across country. Some teams even give players orange-tinted glasses to encourage them to sleep. There's a lot of work to be done in this field, but the direction is clear. Continuing to evolve. All right, David, thank you. Throw good by Donovich. Mills, who's checked in for San Antonio. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Mike Scott. And so he makes both from the line. 
And Simmons has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. And it's blocked. And they thump this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Here's White. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Out to Smith. Back to Horford. Another shot. That one, no good. Spurs trail by 19. Right the pass to Mills. Here's Zamanich. Banked in off the glass. Zamanich has got eight. Perfect vision. Mills getting quicker these days at spotting the open man. Philadelphia's gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Outside, Simmons. And here's Horton from outside. Mills with the rebound. San Antonio's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Bogdanovich, no luck. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. And Simmons slams it in. A hard worker who really ferociously strives to improve. Simmons tonight has been unstoppable at the offensive end. And Mills kicks to Bogdanovich. A floater, and it's good on the way up. Bogdanovich has got four this quarter. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Pass to Simmons. Fades back, and the shot goes in. Simmons got 29 in the game. Man, he has been locked in this quarter, shouldering the load at the offensive end. Mills passes to Zamanich. Smith against White. Five to shoot. And no good that time. Excellent defense there from Smith. Simmons left side. And Simmons slams it in. I'm amazed at Simmons' athletic ability. He moves so fluidly for someone that size. Now, here's Mills. Defense right on him. Pass to Lyons. Here's Zamanich. No good on the triple. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. And he makes that one. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. Challenging stretch for San Antonio here. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And Mills kicks to Bogdanovich. There's 57 seconds left in the third quarter. Baseline try, and it goes down two points. Bogdanovich has got six points in the quarter. The 76ers leading by 21. Passes to Simmons. And they double up Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. And, and really, Simmons is nearly impossible to contain when he's sprinting to the hoop. An athletic behemoth who causes defenders to fit. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Drops in the breakaway layup. Simmons got 35 in the game. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Now Mills. The pass to Lyons. Goes up on the wing. Nice jump shot. Good. Lyles got his second bucket of the night. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. Philadelphia ahead, opening up a huge gap. We'll take a quick break, then get you back to the action.
And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this was? At his position, traditionally, his job is to shoot the basketball. Give him credit for keeping his eyes up and just taking what the defense allows. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. On the court for San Antonio. We've got White. Bogdanovich out there with Trey Lyons. And it's Walker in a shooting guard position. Well, we know, Steve, the NBA looking at lowering the draft eligibility age from 19 to 18. The one and dones would be gone. You like the move? I do like the move, Kevin. I would just love to have a lot of things in place for these younger guys, whether they're 18, 19, some guys at 25, just something in place to help these guys, especially with some of the things that are having problems with off the court and also financially, have some uh, kind of third eye to be able to help these guys. And this is where the G League comes into play, isn't it? Yes, indeed. Terrible shot selection, but you've got to appreciate his confidence. Pass to Baines. Here's Thibel, guarded by Walker. Rejected by Walker, and they're able to recover. They get the rebound. Shots good by Bain. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's Sabah, and they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Sixers foul. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Shooting one. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Here's Thibel. Switch, Pass switch, to switch, Simmons. Switch, switch. Well, a lot of uh, progress being made from a technical standpoint. You can't escape it, Steve. Shoes now that can tighten themselves without laces, changing colors. Have you gotten yourself a pair yet? Well, Kevin, I haven't, but I've bought a lot of pairs for my kids. I do like these type of shoes where there are no shoelaces. I'm a little lazy right now, Kevin, but I love the technology that's going into shoes right now. At the line for two. And he can't get the first one. And Philadelphia making a change here. Harris has checked in. And he sinks the second. Yeah, and the work they've done at the line has been impressive here in the second half. Passes it to Thibel. A pass to Horford. Six to shoot. Here's Thibel. From outside the arc. And the call will be against Al Horford. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. San Antonio making a switch here. Aldridge has checked in. Well, Marcus Aldridge. Spurs trail by 19. Outside, White. There's the dish to Gay. Over Harris. Shots good by Gay. Boy, I'll tell you, from mid-range, Rudy's shot mechanics look effortless. Yo, check Simmons. Simmons passes to Harris. Here's Thibel. 
Back to Harris. And the call will be against LaMarcus Aldridge. LaMarcus Aldridge. That's foul number two for him. Michael Conley. He's checked in for White. Michael Conley. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Harris against Gay. Five on the clock. The 11-footer. Richardson no luck. That's a good opportunity, but he needs to go up a little stronger in my opinion. That's good from Gay on the assist from Conley. 11 points for Rudy Gay. Finding a man wide open, Mike Conley does an exceptional job of leading this team. Horford the pass to Thibault. They could use a pipe. And he's up on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. No question, he got blocked on that shot. First one drops. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Angel Conley will bring the ball up for San Antonio. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Gay passing to Alton. Got a piece of it. And Horford pulls it down. Horford's got six rebounds here tonight. Gay against Simmons. And slam dunk by Harris. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> now here is Conley. Pass to Gay. He kicks it to Walker. Nice ball to the by San Antonio. Here's Aldridge. Good work defensively by Horford. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. That's his first personal foul. At the line for the 76ers, Josh Richardson. Two shots. That's good from Richardson. The NBA looking to improve officiating, Smitty. They'd like to revise the rule book to more closely match the way the game is played. What do you think of that? Yeah, I think, I mean, Kevin, we have to evolve. I think now the game has evolved to more three-point shots, so you got to look at also defense, hand-checking, and now we're talking about a lot about, you know, room for guys to land, whether it's a foul or not. So I think it will evolve, and it should be, because the game is evolving. Spurs trail by 21. And here comes Harris, leading the fast break. Here's Simmons. That shot off. Good work defensively by Gale. Outside, Walker. And that one goes on. The defense was begging him to take that shot, and he took the bait. But you can't blame him. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line, the line this half. Final. Taking two shots.
first one falls. Both shots good from the strike. NBA gets headlines daily. You know what does, Smitty? Around the calendar, there's no off-season, but does the added scrutiny put more pressure, you think, on the players? Yeah, I think it does. I think if now you look at it, everybody wants to see what you're doing in the off-season. And 24-7, you look at it right now, everybody has a camera phone, and everybody is looking for the stars, what they're doing uh, off the court. Four on the clock. Here's Conley. Since halftime, he's just been in a funk offense. You like that he's still attacking, but the results tonight just haven't been there. Now the 76ers with it. Good momentum, eight straight points. And that one goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Simmons. Unforced errors. These are the kinds of things that break momentum. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Gay outside. Back to Conley. That's the three fly. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Horford's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Inside. The nine foot shot. A nice shot by Harris. What a turnaround for him since the half. More aggressive and more effective. San Antonio calls timeout. And we come back to it again and again. If you're just looking at points and rebounds, you really miss Al Horford's impact. It goes way deeper than the box score. Schofield. Johnson outside. Pass to Aldridge. Trying to shoot to end the run. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first. And some detractors have looked at Horford's stats, and Greg, they said he's not an all-star. Even Sports Talk Radio calling him average out. Nonsense. I mean, Two still shots. a great defender, efficient scorer, elite passer as well for a big man. Then you get to his leadership. Big Al is the total package. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. See, for players, success brings so many opportunities, but sometimes the glitz and the glamour and the lifestyle get in the way of success on the basketball court. You know it does, Kevin. A lot of these guys have a lot of things going off the court, and you want to encourage that. It's just when anything off the court starts to affect on the court, then it becomes a problem. 
Some guys can handle it from the beginning. Others need to mature before they can find that balance. Oh, free throws good for Mulder. Here's Simmons. Who's got Simmons? Kicks to Horford. Back to Simmons. And they double up Simmons. Richardson gets a wide open look. Misses the three. Defensively, it's hard to account for everything. They gambled off him, and it worked. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. That's a jump ball. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Philadelphia with the ball. Big stretch here going 10-2. Here's Fable. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Walker dishes to Conley. Oh my goodness, his fifth foul. One more, and he's done for the evening. And over the course of his career, Mike Conley taking on more and more of the leadership mantle. And he's embraced it, Kevin. And he said letting his hair down was a way of letting go and just being confident in himself. First one falls for him. Steve, the G League is now offering select contracts worth $125,000. They want to attract prospects straight out of high school. What do you think of that? You know, I like it, Kevin, and I think I love to see that number go up and up, and I like the opportunity for some of those guys to be able to go straight out of high school. Um, it's good for some, it's bad for others, but I think you have to give those guys that opportunity. Philadelphia leading by 21. Simmons with it, picked up by Aldridge. Oh, the power oh, man. through that. And how about the slashing ability of Simmons really creating havoc for the defense with his aggressive mentality. Here's Conley. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got four rebounds in this game. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. And he wasn't about to do anything that would get him in trouble there. Nope, uh, up and in with a one-hand uh, finish, uh, the most basic possible. And stolen by Simmons. Simmons slams it in. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they maintain their focus. Now here's Conley to the inside. Aldridge. Good work defensively by Horford. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. And so it's San Antonio with it after the Sixers pick up two. Here's game, and it's sent back by Horford. And here comes Harris leading the fast break. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have to jump ball. You two. So here is Philadelphia. Passes it to Thibel. Shot clock at six. Good day, good day. A shot missing. Good work defensively by Gay. And Walker with the ball, bringing it up for San Antonio. Out to Conley. Smitty, the NBA more active now in developing players before they enter the NBA. Not just the fundamentals, but the values of the game. Yeah, I think it's a good move. The league has been taking a hands-on approach. There's nothing wrong with teaching the next generation life lessons about the sport and through the sport. Ben Simmons gets the bucket. Dominating when it matters most. Give him the ball and get out of the way. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. 
Conley against Simmons. Conley with it. Outside Aldridge. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Aldridge has got four points in the quarter. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lay. Outside Simmons. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, how about the concentration by the six-foot ten Simmons? Ridiculously good at completing these chances, despite the D's best effort. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. That one misses for Simmons. Now, Steve, we keep seeing new arenas and new state-of-the-art training facilities. As a player, what do you value more, home court or the practice court? Kevin, I really think it's the practice court because you spend so much time there. But a lot of times now, uh, franchises have both. The home court and their practice facility right inside the arena. If you can have the practice court at an all-time high, something guys like and love, they'll spend a lot of time there. Now here's Simmons. It's stolen by Johnson. Here's Simonich. It's hauled in by the 76ers. One thirty-five left in the fourth quarter. At the top of the key, Corkmont. There's the pass to Simmons. Shot clock at five. Here's Korkmaz, and it's sent back by Aldridge. All that length, all just able to close airspace quickly. Here is Bobby. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Philadelphia. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And ever win important. And this one will go down as win number three. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Ben Simmons. You know what stood out to me was the anticipation defensively. He sensed what the offense wanted to run, then found ways to disrupt that and cause turnovers. And the second free throw, good. How do you feel about the top college players getting some sort of compensation for their work? You know, I don't know about top college players, Kevin. I think if you're going to do it, it has to be all college players because it's a team. And I think if you look at it, some of the ways I would love to see it, if those guys can get health insurance benefits, if they can get a longer time to finish their education. I love that type of compensation. Here is Bump after Ben Simmons' bucket. Bonner passes to Simonich. Down to five on the shot clock. Aldridge finds Johnson. Good, and Aldridge gets the assist. Aldridge is a pro's pro. Keep your eyes open to make a play for someone else. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Yo, Simmons. Up top, Simmons. Pass to Ennis. The tray. Not going to go that time. Here is Bob. Here's the three. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. 
to come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel <laughs> at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Al. You guys do it as a five-man unit on the floor. How did you come together for this win? Uh, just taking good shots on offense, um, trying to, you know, getting stops on defense. Uh, we challenge every shot. Um, you know, we just, just played hard tonight. Great effort and a big win, Al. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that it is, folks. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.